We are in match one. I will play first. I think this is a fine hand. Just missing one white source to be fully online. A little slow, I suppose. We won't be playing our rest separation until turn uh, three, but we do have bone splinters in hand and a persist creature, so that's not bad. Alright, another swamp. Let's just go ahead and play our planes. So our opponent is the Bloodthirst deck. So he's definitely going to be getting in with that next turn unless I Grim Affliction it, which may be correct, but since I have the Persist creature, I can just uh, I can just sacrifice it to get rid of whatever uh, creature he plays next turn. Black, blue, bloodthirst. All right, I'm I'm fine with that. It's not ideal, but I have so many of those, and I can of course soul shift it back at a later time if I need to. Nameless inversion isn't bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just play my second. Restless Apparition, though, and that way if he's another removable spell, I can Bone Splinters it in response and kill his creature. So if he doesn't deal with it and doesn't play anything, I think I'm going to go ahead and play my Changeling. Alright, well that is going to elicit a Bone Splinters from me. So that card is very good. Oh, Bone Splinters is a sorcery. That's unfortunate. Well, I could offer to trade, which is what I'm actually going to do first here. Or not trade, I could offer to I could just kill it if he doesn't do anything. It might be better to go with... No, I think I'd rather play a creature. Another creature. So let's go ahead and destroy this. Sacrificing here. And it might even just be correct to go ahead and get rid of this Dust Hunter Bat here. I'm going to go ahead and do that, just so he has no chance of bloodthirsting next turn. Cloud Elemental, okay. I can take care of that if I need to. There's my second planes at least. So I do have enough to pump and play my Ghostly Changeling or leave back my removal spell, which is what I think I'm going to do instead. So I could just not even kill a Cloud Elemental and instead Grim Affliction it and just you know take away his Bloodthirst ability again and make it a zero one. That might not be bad. In fact, I think I will do that, because I think... Yeah, so now he can't do Bloodthirst again. Maybe I'm being a little aggressive with my removal, but since I have 
I've already used three pieces of it, but since I have so much soul shift, I can get back my nameless inversion if I need to. I think it'll be okay. And I've just, you know, turned off blood. I have no idea how much bloodthirsty he has. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm glad. I'm definitely glad that I uh, got rid of the cloud elemental. Get in for five here. I need to draw something that's not a land. Even a sign in blood would be very good. I like scuttling death. Let's go ahead and attack first. I am a okay with that. I think I've got this game pretty on lock. Don't need to cast the spectral here. I can get in for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, why didn't I attack? That was silly. I just got too, a little too excited, I guess. My mistake. Sorry, everyone. I hope that doesn't come to bite me in the butt here. Well, now I definitely have lethal. This turn I will not forget to attack. I just need to pump this guy once. Let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10 now, 11. But I counted, wow, I'm just. My head is not in the game right now, I guess. 12, so that should be lethal. Alright. So yeah, I didn't mean to dirtle that turn, but it worked out in the end, so I'm happy. Alright, so since he has so many Dusk Hunter bats, it might be good just to play the Plagued Rasalka. I just don't know what I cut, because I already have so much removal. Uh, we're just going to submit it, and we'll see how this next game goes. But I feel I feel pretty good. All right, well, here we are in the next game. Um, I don't know if I can keep this. It doesn't have any black mana, and I'm only one mana away from Lingering Souls. And you know, I think it's I think it's okay. I think because I'm one mana away, I think if I didn't have Lingering Souls and Restless Apparition, this can be very bad. But I think as is, it's actually not horrible. Well, and that made it kind of bad, I guess, but. Maybe, maybe being a little more aggressive with my mana would have been good here. But I really only need one black source to get this hand going. And Sphere of the Suns is definitely not where his deck wants to be. And there we go. Uh, so go ahead and play the Swamp. I'll probably nuke whatever card he plays next turn. And then probably play Thief of Hope. All right, that's not awful. It does mean my shields will be down next turn, but that means that he will not be able to play a bloodthirst creature. Rectus Carnarium, okay. 
So my opponent is also in red. We just didn't see any of it last game. I like drawing another planes there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the Thief of Hope. Uh, next turn, probably we'll play Restless Apparition. Because I think it's a little better here than Spectral Procession. So my opponent now has 6 mana. No, 5 mana, excuse me. Alright, well that will definitely be eating a Nameless Inversion. Kind of wish I could swamp here. No, I don't want to do that. I'll be swinging two. So next turn I could play Restless Apparition or Spectral Procession. I think I want the Apparition because it also drains my opponent. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but I'm kind of hoping I'll draw a Swamp so I can play the Sign and Blood. And I do get back my Nameless Inversion here because of Soul Shift. I hope I get a land. No. So, sh hmm. I think the best thing for me to do here then is to play Spectral so I can block the bat while not wasting my turn using removal. Electrolyze, okay. I'm probably still going to be blocking this Dust Hunter bat. Yeah, I'm definitely going to block it. Thrumming Bird. Alright, so another planes is not horrible. So I will nameless inversion here and play a restless apparition. My opponent and I just have all the answers, but I think I like my deck a little better. As I'm about to get this Restless Apparition back again. Oh, why did I get it? Oh, because it doesn't die. It ceases to exist because it has minus one, minus one counters, I guess. So, I think I'm going to play the Thief of Hope because I like the Drain and the Soul Shift. Wish I could draw another Black Source. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm probably just going to have to kill that next turn. Scavenger Drake. So the bad thing about Scavenger Drake is I would have to tap a lot to do it. And there's no guarantee my opponent will trade here. I don't want him to trigger any Bloodthirst. I think it's safest to just go ahead and kill this. I know that's not the most effective use here, but I think versus the Bloodthirst deck, keeping your opponent's creatures off the table should be the most important part of your game plan. If 
just because their cards are so much better with the Bloodthirst. So he can draw himself some cards here. Or I think make me discard some, right? Yeah, he only do is a sorcery, so we can choose to either draw or discard here. Okay, he's just going to have himself draw cards. That makes more sense. Probably drew that land. Well, another pla another planes. Now I do have six mana, though. Uh, probably should have cast the Wax Main Baku first. That was some poor sequencing on my part. However, now I'm tempted to just go ahead and leave this able to pump. Which seems good. Yeah, that seems fine. Next turn I can play my Baku. And attack for 7. This also gets around if my opponent has a burst lightning or a lightning bolt to get rid of my apparition here. My opponent taps out here to draw a card. I think I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Pretty happy about that. Well, he's not tapped out, but. I can pump him as many times as I want. Oh, uh, what is up with my mouse? Yeah, so I'll probably just go ahead and attack with both. If he doesn't block, it's lethal. So he has to block next turn. And I just can't draw a swamp to save my life here. So, I'll only do this once. And I guess I'll play my Waxman Baku or my. I guess I'll play my Scavenger Drake. No, I think Baku is probably better here. Because I can cast the Nameless Inversion. If he plays two creatures, I can cast the Nameless Inversion, kill one, and then remove a counter from the Baku to um, tap down the other one. And while the, okay, so we win that match. So I'll see you guys in the next one.